And we're back. Welcome back. Woo, let's see. Let's see, dudes. Step inside this. Now sterilizing. Please wait. What the? What was that, dude? That's not good. This is bad. Oh. Who in the fucking... Who's this fish fucker, dude? He has a shield? Jesus. Holy fuck. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Get out, Chris. What in Satan's fucking name? It's okay. I'm fine. Was that his, uh, you know, reproduction organ or whatever? Maybe not. Stop, stop using your brain, man. Holy crap, Lord. Fish! We got fish, dude. Awesome fish. <clears throat> Bro. Do I have to pick this up? That's a 50 cal, yo. Right? Do I want it though? There's more of a poker slap though. We're going with the AR for oh now. Yeah, AR. But I think we have the other one in the inventory, right? Or in the case, in the weapon case. Ah, okay. <clears throat> You say broski? Good day? Or is it night? It's probably night. <clears throat> Why this try is to so hide cool. these facilities on a cruise ship? It makes a good cover. <laughs> suspected. Good point. I hope other... find out what the hell's <clears throat> going on. Mm -hmm. The other game I'm playing now, Coldfell, that had the same same type of fucking tunnel, dude. Kinda cool. And lasers, dude. Fucking lasers. What did I see?
Motherfucker. Virus is somewhere in this research area. So this is the secret of Zenobia. That was the end of episode 8, dude. All on the line. Awesome shit. Good soup, dude. Good soup. Like, I don't... Resident Evil games are never boring, dude. Let's do a little savey save. Previously, on Resident Evil Revelations. Revelations. We're approaching the Queen Zenobia now. Rendezvous at the ship's hall. Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secrets she keeps. What secrets? <laughs> Jessica, why did you fire? Raymond? Why? The part of Veltro. What do you mean? Find the truth about Terra Grigia. So this is the secret. Terra Grigia, it's such a fucking hard name. Resident Evil Revelations. Hey, episode 9, dude. Dudes. No exit. Or playing as uh, Jack Gerson. Well, well, well. It's cold oh, as fuck, yo. That's amazing. <sighs> He's so into it, dude. What's happening? So what the hell did you do? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what, jackass? I didn't do anything. Hmm. Ah. Don't tell me the battery's dead. Puffy. Oh, this blows. The upside is this whole conspiracy is becoming clearer. I like this guy. <clears throat> we have to get back to the airport on the double. Hey man, so hold up. What? Nobody's home. Even the other team's packed it in. So what are we doing here? <laughs> it's okay. I set up a back door. I can use any PDA to get us in. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? If my theory is correct, then the truth about Veltro is really... too early to say. Are you kidding me? I don't want to jump to conclusions. I need more intel. Also. All right, let's find that computer. There's an area we haven't explored over here. My only hope is that it has a high-powered CPU. That would be tits. That would be tits. Get away, jackass. I'm right behind you. Oh, 
Oh, now you're stopping up, huh? Is that an invisible cage I have to? That's not how I want to go out. <clears throat> you read this, right? Like if you want to read it again. Get in, jackass. Jesus Christ, what's happening now? A fucking RPG, dude. That's not good. Another shotgun, dude. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea. Is that a real in the flesh MB28? Grinder, it's what I always wanted. You take the gadgets like a fly to horse shit. It's just a computer. Okay, down to brass tacks. It's gonna happen, hell of it. What the hell? Nothing's happening. Oh, just what did you your fucking way. It's not me. I need more power. The MB28 is a real gas guzzler. There's just gotta be a generator way, bro. around here. I need it. Okay. You stay here and spend quality time with your girlfriend. Isn't it isn't this the jam? Can't be that fucking easy. Here we go. I hope this rusty piece of crap works. There's not enough power to fully charge the MB-28. Are there any of the generators? Is this, a, this isn't generators though, is it? It is. Right, bro. Time to right, die. Full power. Initiate analysis. I don't know what's gonna happen though. So you get anything? No, I gotta get through the layers of encryption on this thing first. But... A Python, dude. Probably kicks fucking ass. Well, fuck me. There we go. Where did you come from, bro? I'm on it. Leave these guys to me. Oh, that's gonna be so much crap, dude. A lot of fucking wolves. What are you talking about? I'm hacking into their secret service. Not by chance. Oh. 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 Ow! Oh. 
That's a lot of fucking enemies, dude. I don't know. Shit. No, 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 no. What now? This blows. Wait here. I picked up a fucking sniper rifle. I didn't want that though. Quinn, did that do it? You good now? Yeah, all good. Thanks. Fuck you, dude. Motherfucker. Ay! Oh, this is going shit. Shit, sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, to hell. Ow. I need to get rid of this fucking rocket launcher, dude. Ow! Thanks for the report, Captain Obvious. Oh. when I tried to hack my way in. You gotta hold them off. I will, but you're gonna owe me big time. How much longer? You don't know how much. Oh. I'm so bad at the dodging thing. I don't know how to do it. Can you stop? It's another invisible monster. Watch out. Yay! Be careful. I should have saved the rocket launcher for later. Man. Oh fuck! He looks so fucking big. I'll be there in a sec. Ah. I don't know, should I take the sniper rifle? Explains it. Mm, yeah. It explains what? Who's behind Veltro? Yeah, probably. There's only one way to find out. Yeah. Let's ask him ourselves. Oh shit. Uh, this is Forkball. O'Brien here. Huh? What the hell? O'Brien's our man? Director O'Brien. I think I put it all together. Veltro was never back in action. It was all smoke and mirrors, orchestrated by yourself. Your own little Veltro production. All to get into the head of one certain somebody. Ah, uh, you pretty much got it. Glad I'm not paying you for nothing. I analyzed his log, sir, and there's something you may want to see. Then let me see it. Yes, sir. I'll send it immediately. What's going on? Connection error? Oh, uh -huh. we've been detected! Oh, fuck. Oh, Quit, shit. Quit, boy! Uncovering secrets, wanted dead or alive, just like a falcon in a snowman! You wanna start with your machines, idiot? Dude, hold up! I'm on! Keith. 
Holy shit, dude. Die though? I think we died. I don't hope. Oh. You think they died? I don't want them to die. the virus. We need to stop the virus from getting out. I know. The control system must be in the lab. <laughs> Chris! Laser! So right, awesome. How do we, um. Uh... What do we do? Well, I can see which one's active or not. No. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Not getting a response? Well, what am I supposed to do now then? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, fuck me. Stupid. Stupid boy. Turn off the whole fucking system or some kind of locking mechanism. Oh yeah, fingerprint dude. Hingo! Now we're getting somewhere. Completion of new type virus, dude. The T. Abyss virus contains genetic material from both the Abyss and the T virus. In and of itself, it is not much of a threat, but it has allowed us to lay the, the groundwork for the study of weaponized marine viruses. I fear, however, that my name will someday be known for assisting with the production of the world's most terrible weapon. If a concentrated liquid form of the virus were to be released in a large enough area of the sea, our data indicate that it would contaminate all of the world's oceans in a very short time. 
starting with, starting with bacteria at the point of contamination and then causing a chain reaction that would impact all forms of sea life. Once the T-Abyss virus contaminates an area of the sea, it will cause mutations at the genetic level to all life forms in the area. It would be impossible to uh, predict a severe ecological impact on humanity. I have doubts as to whether the research I'm doing here is actually to prevent bioterrorism and biohazard outbreaks. She, the thing that Chris, the thing you shot at in the sea, dude. Holy fuck! That was some nasty fucking shit. Okay. Okay. Time is it? It's almost fucking 2 a.m. Bro. Malakoda development materials. The development, the development of codename Malakoda happened by pure chance. We were infecting various species of fish with the T. abyss virus as part of our research into marine-based BOWs. By chance, one of the test subjects was contaminated with parasites. The parasite is Gyrodactylus salaris, a small monogenin monogenian Ectoparasite. When T. abyss is used to infect the host, it not only affects the host, but the parasite as well. The unique mutations formed by the dual infections have allowed us to improve our overall BOW development. A larval Malacoda is only about one centimeter in length. Because it's so small, it can be used as a parasite to infect the host by secreting a liquid that contains the virus. The parasite mutates inside the host and matures rapidly. Perhaps the synergistic effect of a T. abyss of the T. abyss and the secretion causes an increase to the metabolism of the organism. The size to which the malacoda can develop in contingent upon the size of the host. While clinical tests have yet to be carried out, if a whale were to be used as the host, there's no limit to the size Malakota could assume. Yeah. And uh, one centimeter, that's like one thirty-third part of a foot. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What is this, dude? Why did I open this? It's an ooze. Yeah. And what's in this? Another one. And here. Knew it. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey, hey! Taco! No good came out of opening those. Veltro Agents Journal, part 2. <clears throat> 2004, mission elapsed time 2 plus days. The mission was a success. Uh, Teragri... How do you say it again? Teragri... Teragrigia... Teragrigia is now a full-blown hell on earth. We unleashed the ultimate virus to run the city with terror and violence. The FPC sent its soldiers, but they were like lambs before lions. We have achieved our goal. The world will now know that uh, they do not have to wait for hell. It's already here. 
Open your eyes, world. Open your eyes to the truth. Bernard Corti. Corti. Uh, 2004. Mission elapsed time 5 plus days. This, this ship has been contaminated. The virus has turned my comrades into horrible monsters. And these monsters turn everyone else into monsters. Why is this happening? We are going to bring hell to the masses. Not have hell brought to us. The same thing is happening at the Semiramis. The virus has contaminated all the ships. It cannot be a coincidence. Someone was using us all along. But who? None of us would ever betray Veltro. The only one who would do this is our mysterious finance financier. He's the only one who's not here. Norman. We need your guidance. Deliver us from this evil. The rest is missing. <clears throat> I think this is the lab's control system. Does it work? We need a passcode to activate the neutralizing engine. Okay, I'll sweep the lab, see what I can find. Good. Need some time to figure out these controls. Alright my dudes, I uh, think we're taking a tiny little break here. Oh, we're ending the episode and I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> okay, again though, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you again, right? Stop looking at his ass! Okay, bye bye.